forward with the exhale move forward bend forward try to touch your stomach your navel your chest your palm completely on the ground keep moving forward tilting your buttock lengthening your spine move forward your both the palm there six seven eight nine ten inhale come up cross your both legs sit in the cross neck posture or in any meditative posture or lotus pose also you can if you can keep both the hands at the side with the inhale, raise your right hand up, press your right palm on the, at the side of the left side of the head, bend your neck towards the sideways, not with the tilted neck, tuck in your neck and bend sideways, pressing your left palm on the ground and moving your left shoulder on the ground, keep touching your complete palm, press, elbow stretch, bend your neck sideways towards the right, inhale up. Exhale, opposite side. Bend your neck towards the left side. Pressing your left palm on the right side. Pressing your right palm on the ground. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the right. <clears throat> Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the right. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the right. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the right. Inhale up. Exhale, bend towards the left, still here towards the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, inhale up. So release down your left hand, rise your right hand up, exhale, bend towards the right side, stretch your neck and observe the neck, observe your whole arm, observe your shoulder, breathe, normal breathe, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back. Observe, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your both the hands towards the left side. Bring your right palm to the left knee. Bring your left palm back. Keep moving your left palm back as much as. Inhale 
inhale back. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale back. Exhale, opposite. Inhale back. Exhale, opposite. Inhale back. Exhale, opposite. Inhale back. Exhale, right. Inhale back. Exhale, left. Inhale back. Exhale, right. Inhale back, exhale left. Inhale back, change the leg of the lotus. Bring your opposite leg down, opposite leg up. Now stay in the both sides. Titan counts. Exhale towards the right side. Holding your right knee. Pull your right knee and elbow stretch. Pull your right knee with the left palm and moving your left shoulder forward lengthening your spine arching your back pushing your navel forward rolling your shoulders back look back two keep pushing your knee down three with exhale try to stay there four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale back. Exhale, opposite side. Keep moving towards the right, left side. Moving your left palm towards the right knee. Rolling your both the shoulders. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In here, come back. We seated in the lotus pose. And you can change your leg once again. Bring your lower leg up. Upper leg down. Bring your both the palm at the side of the thighs. With exhale, bend your right elbow. Keep your right forearm on the ground. Press your forearm on the ground. Move your ribs. Move your ribs towards the left side. Press your forearm. Move your shoulder inward. And moving your ribs towards the right, left side. Rise your left hand up. Lengthen your arm above the hat. Look at the fingertip. Inhale, come up. Exhale, opposite side. Press your forearm on the ground. Move your ribs towards the right side with the press in the forearm. Not resting on the elbow. Press your forearm. Move your ribs towards the right side. Lengthen your right hand above the head. Look at the fingertip. Rolling your shoulder up. Look at the fingertip. Inhale up. Exhale towards the right side. Inhale up. Exhale towards the left. Inhale up. Exhale towards the right. Inhale up, exhale towards the left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, exhale left. Stay there towards the left side. Press your palm, press your forearm on the ground. Closer to the buttock, move your ribs towards the right side. Lengthen your arm. Look at the fingertip. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale up. Change the lotus leg first, then change the opposite side. Stay towards the right side. Stay towards the right side, 10 counts. Lengthen your arm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale up, release your both the hands, inhale, rise your both the hands up, hold your both the elbow with the exhale, bend towards the right side. Inhale up, exhale, bend towards the left side. Inhale up. Now in this you can do with the shoulder as well. Stretch on the shoulder, on the waist, on the back. Bring your one palm on the back. Hold your right elbow, bringing your right palm on the back. Like a cow face pose, same. Keeping your palm on the back, pulling the elbow, pushing your elbow back with the exhale, bend towards the left side. You will feel the shoulder as well, you will feel the waist as well. So look up. Three, four, five. Inhale up. Bend your opposite side. Keep your left palm on the back. Press your left palm on the back. Hold your left elbow with the right palm. Push your elbow back and pull your elbow towards the right side. With the exhale, bend towards the side wise. Keep pushing your elbow back. One. Two, three, look towards the roof. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, inhale up. Exhale, release down. Relax for a while. Release the lotus legs forward. Relax with the legs apart. Move your legs. Right and left. Move your both the knee. Pointing your heel. Relax. forward bench. Bring your both the feet forward together. Flex your feet, pushing your knee on the ground. Drop your kneecap. Tilt your buttock out. Tilting your buttock out. Lengthen the spine. Not rounding your back. You're not sitting like this. Try to lengthen the spine. Tilt your buttock, lengthening your spine. Rise your both the hands up. Shoulder level, above the head. Touching your ear at the side of the bicep. Lengthen your arms. Lengthening up. With the exhale, partially bend forward halfway. Inhale up. Exhale, bend forward halfway. With back straight, not rounding your back. Inhale up. Exhale, bend forward, halfway. Inhale up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale up. Exhale, bend forward. Stay there. One, lengthening up your back. Lengthening up your arms. Two, three, looking forward. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, you can hold the block as well and then can do, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, stay there, hold the block next to the feet, if you cannot reach, hold your feet. If you cannot reach here, you can hold with the towel as well. Like this. So try to move forward. Try to use, a, try to go closer as much as you can. You can keep one block, then you can keep double block as well. Lengthening up your spine, flex your feet, pushing your chest forward, pull the block. Push your chest forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Inhale, come back. Rise your both hands up. Exhale, release your both hands down. Legs up arch. Bring your both feet together forward. Move forward a bit. Feet together. Now we'll do Paschimottanasana and Halasana together. Not one time, many times. So we keep moving forward and backwards. Bring your both the hands up. Inhale, lift up your both the hands. Lie down on the back. Raise your both the legs with above the hatch. Inhale and exhale. Bend forward. Inhale and exhale. Bend back. Bring your both the feet up of the hatch. Inhale and exhale. Bend forward. One. Two, three, four. When you're bending forward, you're forcefully exhaling through the nose. When you're going into the plow pose, halasana, then also you're exhaling. In between your inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay there. Hold your both the big toe. Flex your feet. Touch your stomach, touch your chest, touch your chin. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale up. Rise your both the hands up. Go to the plow pose. Bring your both the palm at the side, lift up your butt chuck, lift up your feet, lift up your butt chuck, press your palm. If you cannot go directly like this, you can press your palm on the ground at the side of the butt chuck. Straight. Press your palm, lift your butt chuck up. Interlock your both the hands.
free. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend your both the knee. Touch your both the knee at the side of the ear. Bring your both the palm to the heel. You can hold your calf muscle as well. at the side of the ear, tuck in your toe, come up to the downward dog, from plow to the downward dog, then go back again to the plow, very slow, lean your head forward, elbows is not going out, going like a forearm, like a dolphin pose, keep your head down, Roll your head. Come back again. Donna dog. Stay there in the Donna dog. Pressing your finger, pressing your palm. Lengthening your back, tilted your buttock knee straight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, rise your right leg up, inhale, lift up. Bring your right foot forward between the both the palm. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg forward. Left leg, straighten your left feet forward, flex your feet, both the buttocks in the square. So it's the left feet. Bring your left feet forward. Flex your feet, tilt your buttock, bend forward, touch your stomach, touch your chest, touch your chin. One. Stay there. If you cannot keep your palm on the ground or elbow on the ground, you can keep the block at the side. You can keep your palm on the block. You can keep your palm on the block and you can stay there. Like this and keep going down with the tilt in your buttock. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you inhale? Look forward. Lift up your palm. Lift up your elbow. Keep your palm on the block or on the ground. Tuck in your left toe. Tuck in your right toe. Your right toe is tucking back leg. Lift up your right knee. Move your right feet forward. Press your left feet forward on the ground. Keep your palm at the side of the feet, both the buttocks in the square. Look forward, pressing your fingertips. Look up, stay there. Watch your back, neck in the one line. Just touching your fingertips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nine, ten. Exhale, bend forward, touch your stomach to the thigh, touch your chest, touch your chin. Move your palm forward. One. You can keep the block down on the feet as well if you want to feel more deeper. Two. You feel a little stretch on the way in the hamstring, calf, thighs, glute. Five. Stay there. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Release the block. Release your palm. Bring back your palm. Bring your feet back to the downward dog. You can keep your palm on the ground. Down a drop. Rise your right leg up. Exhale, bring your right feet forward between the both the palm. Bend your both the knee. Keep your left knee on the ground. Keep your right knee straight. Buttocks in the one line. If you cannot keep your palm on the ground, you can keep on the block. When your back is not hunching like this, trying to tool to your buttock. Arch your back. Tool to your buttock and arch. Keep moving down. Elbows on the ground or on the block. We cannot just stay there with the palm. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Flex the feet, front feet. Nine. Point the back leg. Ten. Inhale up. Lift up your both the elbow. Tuck in your left toe. Lift up your left knee. Move forward your left feet. Step forward your right feet on the ground. Keep your palm at the side of the feet. Both the buttocks in the one line. Not moving your right left buttock back and right buttock forward like this. Try to keep your both the buttocks in the one line. Pointing your toes forward. Where you're facing. Tilting your buttock. Arch your back. Lift up your palm, just touching your fingertip. One, if you can, can stay there without giving the weight on the fingers, just stay there. You can bring your hands up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and exhale, bend forward, bring your other palm forward. Or you can keep the block down on the feet. One. Too much stretch on the calves, you will feel definitely. And you keep the block. Three, four, you will feel at the side also, IT band. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the blocks. Bring your feet back into the downward jaw. Move your buttock right and left. Mm -hmm. 
walk forward. Walk forward. And do a standing. Keep your palm or fingertips on the ground. Keep your back, buttock, shoulder level, buttock. And everything you can keep your palm on the block as well. Fingertip. Look forward. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now release the blocks. Bring your both the hands. Shoulder level and inhale up. Exhale, bend forward. 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 Hold your both the heel. Keep your both the forearm at the back of the calf. Keep pulling your feet, pushing, holding your ankle joint. Move your shoulders down, move your chest down. Touch your forehead, touch your face between the both the leg. One, stay there. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, look forward. Rise the both the hands up. Bring the both the hands down. Inhale, rise the both the hands up. Exhale, bend forward. Bend your both the knee like a chair pose. Hold your both the heels like a rabbit pose. Now we are going to do hunching the back, rounding the head, bringing the forehead towards the thigh, looking at the navel. Not resting your navel, your chest on the thighs. You are hunching your back like a rabbit pose. And butch up knee level, not going higher. Inhale up. Bring your both the feet up. Bring your palm on the waist. Arch your back. Push your chest down. Roll your shoulders back. Elbow closer. Arch. Hang your neck. Pushing your chest up. Elbows getting closer. Inhale up. Relax. Child pose with the both the knee apart. Rest in your chest, rest in your chin on the ground. Now move forward your both the palm. Keep moving forward. Hold your match from the top. Rest your chest, not the chain. Move your knee back. But if you can keep closer, keep closer. Feel to your budget rest in your chest. You can move your knee as much as back if you're not comfortable. You can bring back and resting on the chest, not on the chain. Two, both the knee together, lift up your both the knee. One, two, pushing your buttock forward, not just hanging your back. Push forward your buttock above the hat. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your knee down. Move your right knee forward. Come on. Do a sitting. Relax for a while in the downward pose. Now we'll do one stretch of the quad. For the quad, for that you need the belt. If you cannot, your hamstring is too tight. You need the belt to hold your feet with the palm. If you can hold with the palm, then you can hold with the palm. No need the belt. If you don't have the belt, if you have the towel, use your towel like a belt. Hold the towel and feet in the end towel. Move forward in the diamond pose. Sit in the Virasana, both the feet apart, both the legs out of the butter, side of the butter, not down of the butter, outside of the butter, both the feet. Sitting on the ground, not with the tucking, with the tilted. Sit on the ground, both the heels out, not turning your feet outward, just pointing it to backward. Stay there. If you cannot, sit on the ground you have the block you can sit on the block like this it will be easier for you then if you're sitting on the block if you cannot sit on the ground try to sit on the block if you cannot then go further forearm on the ground if you have the block you have to keep one more block here and one more block on the hat to balance equally straight if you don't have the block, just keep your buttock on the ground. Now, not tilting, now tucking your buttock. Now, tucking your buttock. Now, navel in. Tuck in your buttock and lie down on the ground with the moving your forearm forward. Try to reuse the gap between the back and the ground. There should not be gap. It's just completely stick to the ground, your back. Stay there, you will be feeling on the quad. You will be feeling in the hip flexor. Bring your left feet forward. Release your left feet forward. Resting on the ground completely. Hold your left feet with the left palm. If you cannot hold your left feet with the left palm, you have to straighten. Now you cannot, right? I also cannot, but I can try. Then I can straighten up like this. But you can try with the belt as well. If you have the belt or towel, keep in the feet. Hold the belt as much as closer you can hold. But don't lift the right knee. Keep pushing your right knee down. Flex your left feet. And pull your feet closer to the forehead. One. Knee straight, push your knee, pull the ankle, pushing the knee, flex the feet. Two, three, four, stay there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release down. Bring your left feet back at the side in the Virasana. Now change the leg. Bring the left feet, right feet forward. Left knee is not going towards the left side. Try to keep in only. But at level your left knee. At the side your heel pointing your toe towards the head. Your left feet. Sitting comfortable, lying down comfortable on the back. Hold your right feet, hold your left ankle with the left uh, palm. Hold your right toe with the right palm. You can hold the belt or you can hold the towel.
If you don't have the valves, you can hold your towel like this. One. And keep pushing your left knee on the ground, pulling your ankle towards the shoulder. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, come back. Go to the rear asana. Hero pose. Inhale, come on. To the diamond pose. We'll come to the cat pose first. Tucking your toes. Move forward, move back. Move forward, move back. Touch your heel, touch your butter to the heel. And try to push your heel back. Tucking your toe. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Sit down in the sitting posture. Move the legs forward. Bring your both the palm on the back. Keep pressing your fingers, pointing your fingers towards the buttock. Your fingers pointing towards the butter, turning outward, not inward, turning outward. Your fingers facing towards the butter, turning outward, both of all the fingers. And facing towards the butter. Your shoulders roll back closer to the each other. Move your palm back. Keep pressing your palm, moving your palm back, moving your shoulder down, bending your elbow, elbow and the wrist in the one line. Your shoulders keep rolling back. Roll your shoulders back, elbows closer to the each other. Elbow and the wrist in the one line. Press your finger, drag the ground. Moving your body, pulling your body forward backwards. But don't allow your buttock to move back. Just stay there and push your shoulder down with that dragging ground. Bend your knee, roll your shoulder, hang your neck, hang your back. Straight in the back. Don't touch your back. Try to close too much. Push your navel forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale up. Release your both arms. Rise with the hands up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now bring your both the hands towards the left side at the back. Flex your both the feet apart your both the feet. With exhale, twist towards the left side. Keep your left arm on the back. Not pushing your shoulder down. Moving your left shoulder towards the right side and bring your right arm on the ground and touch your stomach your chest your chin inhale up exhale opposite exhale keep going down rolling your shoulders inhale up Exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, inhale up, exhale left, inhale up, exhale right, stay there towards the right side, flex your feet, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no more breathe, nine, turn inhale up, exhale opposite side, Lifting your right feet up, move towards the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn in the heel up. Bring it down. Bring your both feet back, feet apart, and on mat level your feet apart. Heels apart. Flex your feet. Tilt your buttock out. With inhale, raise your both hands up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend forward. Hold your heel. Touch your stomach on the ground. If your stomach is cannot go, you can spread your feet, feet more out. Okay, touch your stomach, not the forehead. Let your stomach, your chest, your chin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, inhale up. Relax in the diamond pose, child pose, bend forward. Inhale, come back. Come to the catch. Keep your forearm on the ground. Hold your with the elbow in the cat pose. Forearm on the ground. Bring your palm forward. Interlock your both the hands. Keep your top of the hat facing to the ground and the back of the head and top of the head in between. Keep pressing your palm on the hatch. Rest your head. Push your head to the palm and push your palm to the head. Push your head to the palm, pushing your palm to the head. Both pushing each other against each other. And your elbow is not relaxed. Your elbow is pushing on the ground. Not sliding your elbow out. Move your both the knee forward. Keep pushing your elbow down on the ground and move your shoulders towards the butt chuck. Move your both the shoulders towards the butt chuck. Tuck in your toe, lift up your knee. Walk forward. Walk forward. Until you find the balance. Keep walking, straighten the knee. Lift up your knee, bend your knee. Lift your feet, lift your knee up. Straighten your both the legs. Spread your both the feet sidewise into the side split. Keep pushing your elbow, not loosen up. Front split. Back straight. Opposite side, front split. Side split. Front split. Side split. 
front split, side split, front split, side split. Bring your both the legs up. Bend your both the knee. And then bring back to the child pose. Relax in the child pose. Now we'll do the tripod. Same cat pose, elbows on the ground. This is the cat pose with the elbow on the ground. Keep your hat between the both the elbow. Keep your both the palm. Oh, sorry. Keep your palm holding your both the elbow. Press your palm forward. Keep your head in between the both the palm. Move forward. Keep your head in between the both the palm and the elbow place. Bring your palm to the elbow place. Where was the, your elbow? Bring your both the palm to the same place. And your elbow is not relaxed like this. Keep pressing your palm. Your elbow, your wrist in the one line. Your wrist, your elbow and the shoulder in the one line. Not going down in the one line. Square. Pressing your fingers. Taking your toe, lift up your knee. Not loosening up your neck, keep lock your neck. Keep lock your neck. Walk forward. Press your palm, elbows active, not loosen. Keep your both the knee on the elbow. Stay here first. If you cannot come here directly, you can come, walk forward, keep your one knee and stay here. Then keep your opposite knee, stay here. Then keep your opposite knee, stay here. Chain both the legs one by one on the elbow. Stay here, active your elbow. Your elbow should not be moving like this. Keep active, pressing your fingers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, then you can go for the tripod, press your palm, lift up your knee, lift up your knee higher, straighten, straighten your both the legs, pressing your fingers, pressing your palm on the ground, you're using your own arm strength, come back, bend your both the knee, and try again, keep your knee on the elbow, and lift up again, into the tripod, Relax for a while, <laughs> or you can do more, few more rounds. You bring your knee to the elbow, bring your knee straight up into the tripod. Then bend your knee again, then tripod. Try, or if you cannot, you just keep your one knee here, one feet on the ground. If you cannot go further too much. If you have the neck pain or something in the neck, don't give too much weight on the neck. Don't do too much tripod headstand when you have the neck pain. If you have the cervical problem, don't do at all headstand tripod. Whichever pose gives the pressure on the neck, don't do it. Even the chin stand also, don't do the chin stand. If you're doing the chin stand, you're resting on the chin and tilting your neck, squeezing all the vertebrae, then it will make the more bulge in the disc, in between the disc. So don't Tilt you, don't rest on the chin in any posture. Try to use your own strength of the shoulders, chest, arms, not the resting on the chin. Chin stand, I will show you. The chin stand, most of the people keep here, the weight. But don't keep the weight on the chin stand. Try to use your own strength. Bend your elbow, lift up. You can lift up without resting your chin on the ground. You can keep your shoulders on the block as well. Two blocks at the side and then you can keep your shoulders on the block. 
and then your chin is not resting. Stay there. Relax in the child pose. Some kick up in the hand stretch. Taking a toe lift up in. Look forward. Lift up your right le left leg up. Keep inhale up and move your opposite heel up. When it's going the left leg up, moving your right heel up. One, two. Keep pressing your fingers, not giving the pressure on the joints. Actively engaged, not leaning your shoulder forward. You're pressing your fingers, shoulder is not going out over the heel and wrist. Inhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Again. Keep moving, keep kicking up. Or you can relax now. If you cannot do headstand, handstand, you can work on whatever pose you want to like. Now you can do practice your own. Thank you everyone.